How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Before I actually get into things here, I want to share kind of a ridiculous, hilarious thing that played out over on Twitter. Back when West of Loathing came out, my own Let's Play of it got a big, like, signal boost and viewership boost when Markiplier covered the game. That's just kind of the ecosystem of YouTube, you know, the biggest people cover it, and then maybe didn't cover it as comprehensively or not as quickly as people would like. They go searching for other creators. And I can say with a lot of confidence that I imagine a lot of the people who watched this now, who followed over from the original West of Loathing series, first found that through Markiplier. And so I put out a tweet being like, I'm just waiting for the day that Markiplier covers this game because that will directly or indirectly benefit myself. 20 minutes after I posted that, he uploaded his part one of Shadows Over Loathing. So that's really amazing. If anyone's curious what the timing of this was, if you start watching this series and play catch up and get to this episode, he just covered it. Late to the party, Mark. We're over on part 20 here, I want to say. So yeah, late to the game. What a what a clown. Doesn't know what he's doing over there whatsoever. Tiny, tiny YouTuber. No, that's really awesome. I'm, I'm super excited that this game is being exposed to a wider audience. And thank you to everyone who stuck along with it here or is joining from there. Sorry to interrupt the flow of the coverage here, but I thought the timing of that was too funny to leave unsaid. I have to return the compass that I've now gathered up. Hello, you find that old compass you were looking for? I sure did. Here, what do you think? Hmm, could use a polish, but it seems to be in good condition. All right, I'll swap you. Let me get that old Geiger counter back from you too. The cursed compass, this compass always points towards the evil version of North. <laughs> so we have New new North, which was West, we have Evil North. There's a lot of Norths, an excess of them, really. Thanks. Yep, no problem. Get along now. I got a lot of important nothing to take care of. It does seem thrilling up here, absolutely. What a, what a wonderful job this is. He gives you a polite nod, but doesn't seem to have anything else to say. That feels pretty thoroughly covered then, doesn't it? I guess... I have to take the bus stop back to the city. Okay, there's no wandering encounters or anything when you take those sorts of trips. I was a little bit curious. Are you just stretching or are you trying to get my attention? He seems to want to talk to you. Got something you might find handy. I finally found the time to check out this door behind me. Turns out there was an old bricked up passageway back there. It leads right to Isabella's place. Well, that's pretty convenient. Thanks, Charles. Hey, don't mention it, kiddo. Leave without mentioning it. That actually is really handy. I like that a lot. That explains where the heck that came from. Wow, they're really having just the best time in here. It just gets wilder and wilder every time I visit. I, I'll have to keep in mind to go back there because I, when I wake up, then I'm going to want to go to the bar and drink a beer to raise my, my health or whatever because I think I'll sleep after every uncursing. I got that compass. Oh, good. Not too much of an ordeal, I hope. Could have been worse, I guess. There were some horrible fairies. What? No, don't tell me. Just uncurse that thing and then get some rest. <laughs> don't tell me. Literally, do not bring it up. Okay. I think the next artifact is a book. I'll have the location narrowed down by morning. Good. We can instantaneously start taking on additional thing. It only took this long to complete this next step in the story might as well immediately introduce the one after that no breaks surprisingly comfortable the shadow tainted compass you sit with the compass in both hands as the machine whirs and winds and shakes around you the machine you feel is frustrated some internal mechanism is swinging wildly frantically then crack it figures out whatever it needed to, and there is no more curse. Not in the compass, not anymore. It still points to Old North, though, so it's practically useless. Uncursed compass, you've removed the curse, making it just a comp. <laughs> That's, you've removed the curse. The ass was specifically the curse, is that what they're saying? Only that one portion of it was cursed? More items, more meat. The compass's curse is now transfixed in the uncursing machine. Dare you project your consciousness inside? 
Is truth still an option? No, it's dare or nothing. Then it's dare. I, I will say nothing for just a second because I wanted to double check my accessory. The fairy charm, 10% meat and items, no. I'll, I'll stick with the damage. I think I'll get more out of that. Then into the compass's curse I shall go. Very rainy. You're just kind of enjoying it? Potentially dead. Gosh, that looks sore. Are we a baseball team who got rained out of their game? This is madness. Uh, thanks, Gerard Butler. Thanks for filling me in. That foolhardy coach is going to get us all killed. We should listen to what coach has to say. What do you think we ought to do? Let's get out of here. Go home. Don't you think things were just fine the way they were? Why are we doing this? You mean playing baseball? He looks you dead in the, in the eye and manages a nervy chuckle. Yeah, that's right, kid. Are we not playing baseball? Am I off the mark here? We should listen to what coach has to say. Like him or not, he's our coach. We ought to listen to him. People say not to change horses in midstream, but what if the horse is trying to get you bashed in the head with a baseball? That's a horse worth changing. And trust me, I know from horses. I saw one once. <laughs> All right, we'll see ya. That's it. You just want to tell me about the single time you saw a horse? They're not having a good time at all. I'm disgusted that it's come to this. We all know you're the weak link on the team. Some would say the team accountant shouldn't even be allowed on the field. Oh, maybe that's a difference between leagues. You know, the American and the National League, the pitcher only has to bat in one or the other, and otherwise you have a designated hitter. In this league, the accountants take part? Is the bat boy going to get involved? The commissioner, maybe? Some would say the team accountants shouldn't be in the field, but you tell me. Did all my years of including you in team lunches and burpees make you into a baseball player? Yes, coach. I'm ready to hit the balls. Nah, I'm, I'm an accountant. That's all I'll ever be. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. That's what I wanted to hear. Your destiny's out there on the diamond, son. Go and hit it into the parking lot. Yes, coach. Say, coach, why do you wear that funny-looking hat? Gee, coach, you think Maribel will ever, will ever marry me? I want to ask him about all of this. Nothing funny about it, son. It's a cloche. The, ha the coach is cloche. It's traditional, like a cloche from, like, dinner? A cover, you know, like, covering it up like a butler revealing. Gee, coach, Maribel... I can't answer that, son. All I can tell you is that Mirabelle has married every World Series MVP since the series was first contested in 1903. You work out the rest. <laughs> She's married everyone and they only last one year? I guess you gotta update. It's like buying the new iPhone each year. Excuse me, coach. I gotta go hit something. Hit, hit a ball with a bat. I'm not gonna just beat up my teammates. Three more minds broken by baseball. I actually love baseball. I know people like to rag on it for being too slow. It's such an amazing sport. It's like one of the only sports I like. Plunkett Street pushovers or the powerful baseball team. Oh no, they're just continuing to get better. Let's just run the hell out of here. We aren't cut out for it. Move on. All right, up to bat. I can do it. Oh, I, I, I have to swing. Did something just get thrown at me? Oh, it totally did. Oh, it's coming from different angles every time. No, I can't see it till it's like already hitting me. Just, if I just start chopping through the air, no, no, you basically have to be swinging before it even comes to you. Oh no, oh no, 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 we're, we're just falling further and further behind. That's not how, that's not how points work. Every time I hit the space bar, they manage to, to, we lose points when I do that. There's no, there's nothing to go off of, is there? How do I possibly know what direction it's about to come from? Huh? I think there's like a bit of timing to it, so I'm trying to I'm trying to find the rhythm. Duh, I felt like I hit that one, but maybe I wasn't standing in the right spot. Maybe I had to be back a little more. It's nothing. They just keep hitting me every time. Oh, I was so close. Why is it so hard to see? Why is it like that? Alright, give it a second. I'm clearly out of the rhythm. It's impossible! That was it! That was the one I should have hit it! One, two, it? Come on, that was it. That one I hit, I swear. How did that go so poorly? There's no talking in baseball, son. Get out there. What's with these compasses? Are you seeing... Is that what I'm getting hit with? My swing won't connect with them. I know it must be overwhelming. All I can say to you is to stay calm and remember that in baseball, it's all about what you do hit. Yeah, of course it is, man. It's the entire game. 
What's the other team getting points for when I swing? That's baseball, son. If the other team ever feels physically intimidated, that's an automatic five-point penalty. Then how am I supposed to win it all? Quit gabbing and get back out there. Don't you know leaving the field to talk to the coach is a ten-point penalty? <laughs> Excuse me, coach. I gotta go hit some compasses. Do you have no other advice for me whatsoever? Tell me what to do? I, 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 I gotta go hit some things. What's the trick, though, man? T tell me, hook me up. Give me some, give me something to go off of. I don't even think, I don't even think the order that it's throwing them at me from is consistent. I swear I hit that one. How long do I drag this out? Do I just let myself lose, like absolutely fully? There's, there seems to be. A puzzle here that I'm missing. There's only two at once now. Time to just start spamming the space button and maybe I'll hack at something. I don't even care. It doesn't matter how badly we lose by. I'm laying it all out on the field. Pouring my sweat into the game. Mixing it in with the blood and the rain. I, I was bleeding, by the way. That happened earlier. Unrelated to baseball, but it's, it's part of the field now. This is madness. Let's go home. Everyone's toast. Take me out of the ball game, not take me out to the ball game. Nobody, nobody has tips for me. All right. What if I? What if I just dodge? What if I just focus on dodging? It doesn't matter. Just them flying in at all manages to hit me. Am I? I, I can't like access uh, a, an inventory or anything. I don't see anyone else to talk to. No, I, I think I'm abandoning this for now, because unless coach has some coaching for me, then I, I'm out of here. There's no point dragging that misery out any further. Any, any feedback for me? Any suggestions of how I could better... Oh, that door is going to drive me fucking insane. All right. I am getting rid of the rolling shoes because I honestly think they're obnoxious. I keep, like, it's harder to tell where you're going. Ugh. Nothing right now. Any tips whatsoever? Looks pretty busy. Do you know, did you know that compasses used to be different? What? Different how? Like north used to be called west or something. Oh, right. I kind of remember hearing about that. I was only about three years old when it happened, though. Seems really disorienting. Eh, people can get used to just about anything. Nobody complains anymore about how they stopped putting lard in chewing gum, for instance. Well, that sounds rather gross. Would it, would it be, or would it just be flavorful and delicious, just literally chewing the fat? I assume that's not where the phrase came from. Alright, I'm getting back to the lake. That was an unexpected dead end. Uh, I, I assume I could do more there, and I'm just missing how to do more. Instead, I think the vampires will be like a whole thing, and I worry about jumping at that too soon. I think the museum was one of the earliest things we stumbled across wandering. A trio of figures in hooded white robes step out of the streets around you. It's hard to tell if the robes contain person-shaped shadow monsters, or if they're regular people whose faces are concealed by the shadows of their hoods. Well, not the regular people go around wearing hooded robes very often anyway, and whichever it is, it doesn't seem like they have good intentions. Hey, uh, what's your deal? And I guess this is, it is more of the shadow figures, they're using that same language. Well, that clears it up. I don't want to surrender. The Shadow Acolyte, Cultist, and Stalker S cannot take more than five damage at a time. They're, they just are limited. I mean, that won't matter for Molly, since each one will be one damage, if I'm like understanding that how that's going to be calculated correctly. And if that's the case, then I might as well throw this around to get a little bit more damage out there. Oh, three different enemies, so it won't double up on anyone. I was hoping that would be the case. But now they're low enough in, in health that, you know, a, a single shot can take them down. Because if they had even just as little as, like, six or seven, if, if I'm understanding that correctly, it wouldn't have worked. Can't take more than five. Is that Has that been true of these shadow beings the whole time? I didn't even realize that that slab was there. 
Maybe it's new. It, there's a chance it wasn't there before. Fierce waggles. Oh, Nerdle. Just so poisoned. You won. All the black smoke leaks out of the robes pretty quickly after they're beaten, so you don't get chance to question them any further. Not that it probably would have been any more effective than the first time. I mean, it's the first time questioning them when they're wearing robes. Who knows what kind of differences of opinion they may have in that context. There's nothing that way but an empty parking lot at the Sandwich Museum. The village of Sandwich was home to a terrifying witch cult until all the inhabitants were convicted and executed in witch trials in 1692, and the village stood empty and uninhabited for hundreds of years. Come explore the town and learn more! This house was the residence of the Danforth family. Step inside to learn more. Oh, the Danforths, an intriguing group. The Danforth residence has been converted into a gift shop. For your convenience, is everything here a gift shop? Why not take home a jar of the sandwich cream that was the village's chief export, besides witchcraft? This black cat is staring glumly at an empty dish labeled Hecate. Funny name for a cat in a witch town. I, apparently there's no boon to be had. I thought it would. Shelves laden with identical jars of off-white stuff. Ah, oh, sandwich cream mayonnaise? I thought it was like peanut butter or jam or something. I'm guessing mayonnaise, if anything identifiable. An elderly woman smiles from behind the counter. She has rubbing paper and sandwich cream. This special piece of paper is for making rubbings of historical graves and such like that. Thanks to advancements in rubbing technology, you don't need any charcoal or anything. Historical graves. Have I been to a graveyard at all? The only thing I can think is those statues that were in the garden. I don't think that was a grave though, but I'm guessing I could get dates from that to take th to the news store. <laughs> That's not what it is. This condiment purports to be the perfect topping for any sandwich, but the ingredient list suggests that it's just old congealed cream. Adds sleaze armor. Whatever, I'll buy one up. I got some meat to burn. Mm, that sounds super tasty. <laughs> but Putnam House, which partially burned down under extremely witchy circumstances. Ooh, we have a, a guide, perhaps? A guard? Either or. The security guard is keeping a close eye on things in here, which honestly isn't very difficult since there's only two of them. They should introduce a security guide. Two jobs at once. It seems like you'd be able to multitask when you only have one person visiting at a time. You have to simultaneously guide them around the tour while guarding them from stealing anything. And if you only have one place to draw your attention, it seems like a win-win. Collect two salaries? You'd be in the money, man. Hello, welcome to Putnam House. Please don't touch the exhibits. Ask him about them. Excuse me, sorry sir, I just get paid to stand here and keep an eye on things. I don't actually know anything about the exhibits. Okay, there'd be a bit of cost to onboarding this guy, getting him up to speed, because apparently he doesn't give a shit at all. Oh, huh, I guess that won't work. <laughs> uh, this plinth has an old book on it. It appears to be someone's diary. Oh, yeah, the little description in the front of the plinth says Diary of Delia Putnam. So that confirms it. Mostly, it doesn't look interesting enough to be worth deciphering the archaic handwriting and spelling, so you flip ahead to the last page. The 6th of March, 1692. Ugh, I hate that Peter Proctor so much. He thinks he can just go around being as mean as he wants to everybody just because he has lots of money and lives in a big house and all. I should have used a much stronger curse. It would have been worth the trouble. See, this is old enough that I don't think it would be in the newspaper records, and also there's not, like, a story attached to it. Hey, I have one of these little rag dolls in my home. Antique rag doll, take a look. This rag doll has a bunch of old pins and needles stuck into it, and for some reason has the word BORING embroidered across its front. The little plaque on the front of the plinth says, Witches frequently used special dolls, called poppets, to curse their enemies. This one was apparently made to target a Mrs. or Miss Boring, although no one of the name is listed in the town records. And then in tiny text at the bottom of the plaque, the pins were not found with the poppet, but were added for demonstration purposes. Interesting, everything in this house was destroyed by fire except these two objects, which were found concealed inside a metal box. 
I, I thought for sure you'd be able to look at the fireplace. Hmm. A, like, voodoo doll, witchcraft of some kind. I Like, the two of those items together, I don't see an immediate connection. Like, I guess she could have tried to do a curse against... That, like, the, the connection there is obvious, but whether it's a part of a larger puzzle or something is what I mean by that. This trough may have been used to bathe human sacrifices before the ceremony. We don't have evidence of that, but it seems possible. Yes, please, let's assume and, and predict and infer other potential uses of this trough. We actually use this well for water, so please don't throw meat into it. I can fish with the hot rod. I was absolutely going to throw meat in it if that was an option. I guess a lot of people did. The 23 meat was just left waiting in there, so I'm not the only one who have that instinct. 23 again, reeling in the cash. Is this purposely meant to be the number 23? Ah, it came up three times, so I think that was intentionally meant to have an eerie quality. It looks like you've caught everything that was in here. Wait, can it say anything? Uh, I, I, I thought maybe it would have changed. That would have been funny. Nice day. Ah, none of none of that's new. Gazebo, nice gazebo. The sign reads Sandwich Gazebo. Vagrants not welcome. It's not very friendly. Do gazebos have to be friendly? Sandwiches Church also served as an ersatz town hall, courtroom, racquetball court, and dark sorcery place. That seems like it encourages witchcraft, which does not seem to be what this town would want. In 1692, the inhabitants of Sandwich were executed in the witch trials that were popular at the time, as evidenced by this old signpost announcing one such trial. So here we are looking at the signpost that the signpost is referring to. This sign is written in rough black wax. Today is the trial of Patricia Williams, who stands accused. The rest of the sign is too weathered and decayed to read. Okay, but could I rub that paper on it or anything? I don't think that's quite what it's meant for. An old and dilapidated church altar. There are some brown splotches on the corner that could possibly be bloodstains. The altar where the town's witches performed their horrifying sacrifices. Nope, the bloodstains. Well, they really make it seem like the witches had the run of the town. If they were using the church to, to perform their sacrifices, like, it seems like they got on doing whatever they wanted. There was a chance. There was a chance there would be, like, something in between the pews, so I thought I would check. The wealthy Proctor family owned the biggest and most conveniently toilet-adjacent house in the village. That's gotta raise the resale value. This chessboard has clearly been left out on display as an allegory for the battle between good and evil. Black is winning, representing a warning for all good-hearted people to be vigilant against the encroaching forces of darkness. Can I just get in there and, like, move pieces around? I gotta practice, I gotta get better. These dried fronds are of no historical significance. You're not frond of this plant. This eras appears to depict several important ancestors of the Proctor family line, though due to the low resolution of embroidery used at the time, it's impossible to discern exactly who. I wouldn't have expected them to have been concerned with resolution back then. Who knew that was such an ancient way of measuring how pixelated something was? It has been pointed out to us that this eras is unlikely to have been manufactured in the capital of the Pass de Calais, Department of Northern France, France, and therefore it is merely a sparkling tapestry. Oh, because it's like, you know, it can't be called champagne unless it comes from that actual region. That's pretty great. There's no plaque on this table. It must have always been boring. According to county records, these were the most expensive stairs in the county. They go up a full one and a half floors. Stairs to the second and a half floor. And look at that, a tiny extra little bit of stairs. Oh, that's the extra halfway up. These stairs just keep going until they hit the wall. Seems like rich people just ha always have weird taste. They, they really do. If you look at pictures of rich people's homes on like realty websites or whatever, they're usually just atrocious. <laughs> the upstairs rooms are off limits while we catalog the contents. Please pardon our dust. I don't have the best interior decorating sense. Hardly any at all. But I can recognize when someone just put a bunch of things in their home because they were expensive and not because they looked good. 
This bedroom was traditionally given to servants as if it was felt by the proctors that it would be less of a tragedy if they got up in the middle of the night and fell down the stairwell. Oh yeah, they didn't even put a railing there. Mrs. Proctor's bedroom is especially off-limits while we figure out how to deal with the strange mold we found behind the wallpaper. Mr. Proctor's bedroom, home to the county's most extensive collection of cravats. This was the bedroom of Peter Proctor, the only child of Nicholas and Abigail Proctor. This was the Proctor's spare room where they kept spares of all the expensive things they owned. And this room is not part of the tour and is also not part of the house? What the hell does that mean? I've only seen like uh, two and uh, seasons of Doctor Who and odd random scattered episodes. There's one where there's like a non-existent additional floor on a house. And that was one of my favorite ones I saw. And that's just what makes, that's what that makes me think of. Traces of strange plant matter on these tubs prove that they were used for brewing all kinds of horrible potions. I can't crypto botanist that. You look in the tub, but don't see any identifiable identifiable traces of plant matter. Guess you'll have to take the sign's word for it. Oh, here's where outhouse sales are probably going to become important. Sandwich boasted the county's very first tripar tripartite outhouse. Please do not attempt to use it, it is very old. But then here's an updated modern one. A more modern convenience has been provided for your modern convenience. Avail yourself of it. It's all, it all goes to one place. <laughs> That's, okay, that's literally what they're commenting on. Three sinks, and this is one of them. This is, I'm guessing, also one of them. <laughs> and also one of them. Okay. One toilet, zero privacy. <laughs> Always nice to have that freebie. Maybe I should start looking to upgrading some of my stuff. We're seeing how far off I am. Some of them, I'm pretty sure, was only 30. Parmesan Missile... That one would probably be worth upgrading. I never really use Mind Melt, so I'm not worried about that. This is the one that heals? No, I guess not. Um, maybe that's the one that hits three people. Shocking jokes, that's the healing one. And the Stilton Splatter, that's the one that hits numerous people. Okay, they are all they all take about 100 to upgrade, so I'm, I'm further off than I would have expected. You don't have any interest in investigating the area downwind of that outhouse. That's a very good reason to not head that way. Do Wessa Tripla. <laughs> I don't know why that's like one singular thing I remember from watching How I Met Your Mother. I, I guess we head down this way. This leads to a little cemetery behind the church. Okay, well, I guess we get to immediately make use of that paper here. Welcome to the Sandwich Cemetery. Please be respectful of the graves. Also check out how many of them were terrifying witches who were executed in the witch trials of 1692. This is a lot of fine clicking around, so I'm going to use the keyboard. Thomas Danforth. Uh, I, I guess 12 years old? What the hell, man? Clarence Danforth. I, there's no point. Teresa, Patience, and Bartholomew. I can check those more closely if or when I need to. Marianne Putnam, a tombstone covered in lichen. The Eldritch Mist, mist gives mournful giggles. Joseph, John, Millicent, Dahlia, Peter Proctor. He was a duty head until the very end. Okay, these, these are the only ones that have inscriptions. Oh, not even all of them. Beatrice, Abigail, Alicia, Nicholas Proctor. What the heck? He lived to be 230 years old? Yes, I do want to know more about that. And Proctor, our town founder. And a hobo code engraved in the back there. The code reads, Hollow Tombstone, Possible Treasure. You check inside the stone and there is indeed some treasure. Satchel's Lucky Hat. This thing has a solid gold hat band, band and there's a tag inside that says property of Satchel Duggins. But help yourself if you find it in a hollow tombstone or something. Oh, well, that's my lucky day then. Lucky day, lucky hat. Everything's working out just nifty. I actually don't think there's anything to do here or to do with the paper. I am trying to go talk to Molly and I keep going through the doorway there. Fairies wants to go fight fairies. Nothing new there. This is a quest item. That is interesting, okay. But apparently not something I'm going to be making use of immediately. Not there. 
I acquiring the paper and the uh, odd, um, odd random bits of experience, couple jokes, I think that's everything around here. I kind of suspected more, and maybe maybe there will be. Uh, I'll, I'll have to circle back to. Hmm. So far, though, that feels like everything. And in that case, I want to run back to Ocean City. I want to check the newspaper place. News... The news? <laughs> what is the, what is like the word I'm fishing for here? All right, let's see, uh, look through. I'm guessing none of these will have anything new. No, thanks. Ooh, nope. Nada. Well then, where the hell do I go spend my time? Uh, go get some sleep? I can sleep things off even though I didn't resolve the curse? I guess I can always come back to that, but I should probably sleep in order to, to progress the story that lasts a little bit here. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's go take our nap and, and see what's waiting for us. Charles flags you down. I got some applicants for the new storefront I fixed up over there on the other side of the Cola Wars surplus. Got a second to pick one? Yeah, sure. The first is Bertram's Bakery. Bert's a buddy of mine from my restaurant days. He makes a good loaf. The second is Jardware's Hardware. I guess if your name is Jardware, your options for rhyming business names are pretty limited. And the last is Texas Instruments. Guy from Texas selling musical instruments, I suppose, but not the Texas Instruments that make like TI calculators. <laughs> uh, bakery would just be food. The hardware, I don't think I would benefit from. It's probably if you're like a muscle-based character. And the instruments would be if you're moxie-based. Yeah, maybe those are the other two that were available when I picked the mysticality-based one. So in that case, I guess I will ask him to open a bakery? Okay, I'll get him moved in and get the next storefront ready for applicants. Thank you very much. You hang the cow skull over your desk, and if anybody asks, I'll tell them you killed the cow yourself. Thanks. That's, I appreciate that. Everyone will think I'm so tough. <laughs> That's all I really want. The knick-knack shelf. There's an old rag doll on top. Must have been left from the previous tenant, but I can't actually, like, interact with it. I can just sit on this for fun. Why not? Ah, you sit for a moment and reflect on both your power and your responsibilities. Heavy is the hand. Not the head. <laughs> you have surveyed your kingdom and decided which parts of it need to be hit really hard with thrown with the thrown wrench. Plus three to ranged weapon attacks. Is that permanent? Wow. Okay. I'm very glad I came back and did that. I don't think there's anything I would I've I've, I've bonged and binged that as much as possible. Hot damn. That was a, a great little benefit to get at the end there. You know what? I think I will start off the next episode with my rest and sorting some of my affairs and all that. Exploring whatever weird little story happens in my dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.